it's about power. If you look at the headlines leading into the 2024 presidential campaign, it's obvious that Democrats are mad with power. They are showing that they have absolute control over all of the courts and every aspect of this presidential election. It's all about power because the Democratic Party believes that they are power itself. They believe they are more powerful than God and that anyone who opposes their power is their enemy. So when you see New York Attorney General says appeals court should disregard Trump's claim it's impossible to get a bond, you have to think about who it is that she's actually prosecuting. Southern District of New York prosecutor Letitia James is not prosecuting Donald Trump. Her target is every one of you. Any American who dares vote against the power of the Democratic Party is the target of her prosecutions. She wants to make it plain to you, the average American taxpayer and voter, that you don't have a Second Amendment right. You don't have a First Amendment right. And you cannot vote for your candidate of choice because the Democratic Party will choose your candidates for you. You, the average American, are the target of her actions. And it's all about intimidating you and showing you that you can't even show up to vote, that you shouldn't even bother to express yourself politically because they've rigged everything for the Democratic Party. And that's why this sick monster, Letitia James, and the rest of these New York prosecutors and judges, that's why they all have big smiles on their faces. They view you as their enemy, not Donald Trump. And I was reminded of this today when I wanted to watch a video by Daily Wire's Matt Walsh. It's a video on the city of Pittsburgh. Let's take a look. In crisis in Haiti, the prime minister is stranded in Puerto Rico. The streets are now ruled by a warlord named Barbecue. Police officers are nowhere to be found, even at the country's national prison complex, where the doors are currently wide open. And all this is relevant mainly because, for years, leftists have pretended Haiti is salvageable. They didn't do that to simply contradict Donald Trump, although that's a big part of it. Their primary motivation is to transform this country into Haiti. Unchecked, one-way migration is one way to do that. Another way is to adopt Haiti's approach to policing, which is to say, to stop policing entirely. Beginning last year, criminals in Haiti understood that they could commit crimes with impunity. No one would even attempt to arrest them. As the Human Rights Watch put it in a recent report, quote, there have been no prosecutions or convictions of those responsible for killings, kidnappings, and sexual violence or their supporters since the start of 2023. That's what a total stand down of law and order looks like. It was telegraphed and, as expected, anarchy followed. So you have to wonder, especially in the aftermath of BLM and defund the police, how long until something like that happens here? How long until criminals in America understand that they can commit serious crimes and no police officers will even bother to show up? Well, if you follow the news out of Pittsburgh this week, you know that uh, this moment has arrived. It is, it is already here. The city has announced that police officers will simply stop responding to the vast majority of crimes, including burglary and harassment, as long as there's no, quote, in-progress emergency. So Matt Walsh's video is on the decisions by the city of Pittsburgh to cancel and defund their police department. But he also talked about the other areas in the Chicago budget that they did have money to fund things like equity programs in the city government, and especially funds for climate change to research the carbon footprint of the different components of the city of Chicago. This video has only been up for seven days, but what got my attention was this disclaimer that was automatically slapped at the bottom of the video by YouTube, apparently part of an artificial intelligence script, where two things had to happen for this disclaimer to be slapped onto Matt Walsh's video. The first was that he's already been previously identified as a conservative commentator. That means, according to the executives at YouTube and their parent company, Matt Walsh is identified as the enemy 
of YouTube and the corporate interests. So they haven't outright banned him, but they want to correct any thinking that you may have watching his video. And so even though this video is specifically about the budget of Pittsburgh and their decisions to cancel their own police department, YouTube just assumes that he's attacking the science of climate change when he did no such thing. All it did was identify that those two words came out of his mouth. I doubt that a human being was even assigned to listen to or watch his video at YouTube HQ. No, an AI script identified the phrase from his mouth and they slapped this disclaimer on here. Why? Because it's about power. Social media companies decided that they have the power to control your thoughts and that any thoughts that go against their desired policies are bad thoughts that must be censored and controlled and managed. Obviously this is not what social media was originally intended for when it first arrived, but that is what it has become. And this little context disclaimer at the bottom of the screen, it is not there to inform. It is there to control you because you are too stupid to think for yourself. They know that they control the whole equation. They control everything, the courts, the prosecutorial office, and they control the news media. But there's a reason they should lose this smugness, because the only thing they value is power. There is something more powerful than the Democratic Party. It's called the American people. Gender. You know what woke means? It means you're a loser. Everything woke turns to shit, okay? When you see the naked exercise of power, either by our government officials or by the corporate news media, remember that you have the power, and their power is fleeting and immaterial compared to the power of the American people. Thank you.